Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to part two of Gods Will Be Watching. Twenty Days of Empty Words The Matriarch, Xena Leifer's ship, three days before Space Lab data hijacking. Ooh, time travel. Sweet. Are we like cutscene now? It's a cool watch. This is Sergeant Burton communicating from within Xena Leifer's Matriarch battleship. Requesting an encrypted Type 6 comm relay to the Everdust Company for the universe knowledge. Secure Channel 6. Sergeant, it's been three months since your last transmission. The mission protocol dictates at least a, a report at least every two weeks. That wasn't my choice, sir. There have been a lot of activity in Xena re Leifer recently. Sergeant, our intel indicates that the Medusa virus has fallen into the hands of Zeta Leifer. What happened? It hasn't yet. Calm down. Liam is planning to assault one of the Holistic Empire's space labs. The lab is to steal their research data about the Medusa. The plan is to steal their research data about the Medusa virus. That's unacceptable, Burden. Zeta Leifer must not gain access to the Medusa virus. They've gone too far this time. Sergeant, these are your new orders. Eliminate Liam Ferran Gao and sabotage his plans. Sir, killing Xenoleafer's leader is not the solution. That course of action will blow up a three-year operation. Jack and I have worked hard during Liam's trust. Within a few months, we could achieve a peaceful end to Xeno the Xenoleafer organization. Have you lost your mind, Sergeant? We would never allow a terrorist organization to a weapon of ma access to a weapon of mass destruction. Xenoleafer aren't terrorists. They have ideals of revolution, but Liam isn't genocidal. I know him, sir. Keep talking like that and we'll consider your loyalty compromised, Sergeant. Xenoleafer is the enemy and must be neutralized by any means necessary. We need more time. Sergeant, listen to me. I'll take responsibility for whatever action Xenoleafer carries out with the Medusa virus. If the time comes, my hand won't hesitate to put a bullet in Liam's head. But killing Farron Gao will only unleash a war which will cost the Everdust resources and lives. Trust me, I have this under control. Shower time! <laughs> Sorry, did I wake you? What's up? You look confused. Let us introduce ourselves. My name is Irving, and the big boy with the phony helmet is Alexander. He doesn't speak much, but he is good fella. That is, unless you piss him off. But that ain't gonna happen, am I right? Cut the crap. What do you want? Relax. You don't want to push things here. Trust me. My boss wants to know about you. The usual drill. Age, sex, location. ASL. Lol. <laughs> oh, and he wants to know what the fuck you were doing in our lab. So, anyways, first question. Who do you work for? Yeah, Jack can lie. I'm not ready to lie yet. Come on, Jack. Think. Hey, are you deaf? Blap, blap. <laughs> Not many people dare to challenge the Holistic Empire. So, where are you idiots from? We're just depressed people oppressed by the Holistic Empire. We are the resistance, and we'll overthrow your empire. It makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Next question. Where are your headquarters? How many hours did you spend at the gym? Ow. Alexander, stop. Look at what time it is. We'll miss the Holistic Baseball League. Gentlemen, you have to excuse us. I hope you enjoyed your first session. It's been nice. <laughs> it's been nice, Irving. Thank you for your time. Ha. Huh. This is going to be fun. Good night, fellas. Good night, Irving. Alright. So, you think we've been through worse than this? We're alive, aren't we? For now, let's just focus on staying that way. Okay. Till when? I don't know, but as long as we're still breathing, we have a chance. Don't do or say anything stupid. We have to choose our words wisely. I don't care about giving up information about Xena Leifer, but as soon as this lunatic knows anything he wants, we're, we're dead. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Shut up and get some rest. The worst is yet to come. The worst is yet to come, and babe, won't it be fine? Hello, good morning, Alexander. I hope you don't think that violence is my only resource. I'm not ashamed of hurting my guests, as I have acquired a great set of skills. There was this cyborg guy we, w we had to interrogate once. 
He was human once, but with so many implants, he was more machine than man at that point. The son of a bitch had the ability to disconnect his pain rece receivers at will. And yeah, he could die just the same as everyone else, but it's difficult to make someone fear death if they can't feel shit. Wanna know how I made him tough? We became friends. Yep, simple as that. Since pain wasn't doing the job, I went with love. Ah, such good times. We ended up talking about this and that, and bit by bit I got some useful information out of him. Not enough to satisfy my boss, but enough to capture the poor bastard's sister and tear her ribs out in front of the man. Man, that was a masterpiece. Actual cyborg tears. He short-circuited. <laughs> the good old days. But let's focus on the task at hand. In a forest, an abandoned prison? Come on, tell me where you're hiding. I don't know what you're talking about. Little bitch like you won't get much from us. Oh, he's gonna hit me with the hammer. Ow. Oh. Seriously, do you even have a headquarters? Ugh. Alexander, it's time for a secret weapon. Bring me the red blade crabs. No. Wait. We had them for dinner yesterday. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, Buzzkiller. See you tomorrow. This has gone poorly. Are you alright, Burton? Don't worry about me. Save your strength. How do you always stay so cool? It's like you were born to survive. They try to mend my wounds with sweet talk, Jack. I'm not the only one who's got this far. Consider yourself a true survival too, Corporal. Ha. <laughs> now that's a good pep talk. Shut up and rest. Uh-oh. The cyborg guy. It's him. Liam. Sorry I'm so late. You didn't think Xena Liver would just let you down now, did you? Thanks thanks to the gods. Get us out of here. I'm sorry, but that's not a good idea. What? No shit. We're in the prison located on one of the wandering moons of the Holistic Empire. This giant rock is too heavily guarded for a prison break. It's a miracle I got this far. I don't think we can make it together. Hell. I don't even know if I can make it back alone. Well then grab a chair and take a seat. What's the plan? I know you have one, Liam. Huh, <laughs> you're correct. I may be a suicidal hero, but I'm not a suicidal idiot. Xena Leifer is preparing a rescue operation. It isn't going to be easy, but nothing withstands a clever plan. Right. What do you need us to do? I need you to endure 20 more days of torture. <laughs> what? You know, clever plans usually aren't the quickest. But that's why I'm here, to help you in the matter. I already located a nursery above this floor. I can sneak in and steal medication for you. Medis medicine can redor restore your health so you can endure longer. Painkillers will allow you to resist more pain so the bastard's torture methods won't be as effective. But it won't recover as fast as usual. You won't recover as fast as usual from your injuries. Or, if you prefer, I can gather information to help you deal with your torturers. It's easier to lie if you know what your captor is interested in. You're a smart man, Abraham. You can survive this and more. Ray, <laughs> What should I bring you tomorrow? Ah, uh, I need a healing kit for... for Burden. Gotcha. <sighs> 20 days? What are you talking about? Man, I had the weirdest dream last night. Get this, everything was black and white, everything but the orange light of my cigarette. Oh, and I wasn't blonde. Kinda lame. And I was wearing a heavy metal t-shirt and had long hair. Do you like games? I'm really into gambling games myself. Are you familiar with the old gunpowder weapons? This is a seven-barreled lucky revolver. It's been in my family for centuries. Old fellas had, from Earth had a game called Russian Roulette. I don't know what Russian means, but <laughs> must be the guy who invented it. Doesn't matter. What does, what does matter is what happens when I slide one bullet inside the barrel. Point this baby at your face and ask you a question. If I like what you're saying, I won't pull the trigger. Either way, you'll be in the hands of Lady Locke. Are you ready? For one out of seven chances of boom in a forest, an abandoned prison. Come on, tell me where you're all hiding. I hate this. I hate this game. We have to? I wanna, I wanna lie. I need to think. Hey, are you deaf? Damn, I have to take a shit. Alexander, I told you we shouldn't have attended that jalapeno party. See you tomorrow, amigos. You know what they say, eat fire, shit tears. How does he keep coming back? What is this? 
Why do you always get in through the ceiling but leave through the door? I don't have a way to climb back up. <laughs> you could steal a rope. Good idea. Next time I'll look for a rope instead of meds. What should I bring you tomorrow? Information. This medicine will mend your flesh. You'll feel a lot better. Don't push him too hard. Yeah, poor Irving. <laughs> Did you know that Alexander loves hamsters? How sweet. He has an entire collection of legless, eyeless, toothless, hairless, brainless hamsters. Not, that all the, not all at the same time. I mean, each one is customized with delicacy. Actually, I kind of introduced him to the hobby. I remember as a kid, a hamster was one of the best gifts no one ever gave me. It really brought out my passion for torturing at an early age. I'll never forget Harry Mr. Dimitri. What a lovely set of screams he had. And you? When are you going to scream? This isn't going to be easy, Irving. I think we have the strength of at least 10,000 hamsters. <laughs> I want to know exactly who I'm dealing with. Like, hey, what are you, deaf? Oh! Burned his face. You won't steal a car, you won't kill a baby. Piracy is a crime. Confess your plans. <laughs> what are you, deaf? Ow! Uh-oh. Hey, pussy, get up. Burden? Answer me, Burden! Burden! <laughs> Burden! Well, shit happens. Well... Shower time! Oh, shit! <laughs> shit! Fuck, I killed him! The boss won't like this. Ah, uh, what the hell, he deserved it. Well, we'll tell him it was you, okay, Alexander? Thank you, buddy. You're the best friend the torturer could ever have. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, are you deaf? Ah, shit. Did you have a good night? You know, those wooden chairs are shit. Sorry. Not so long ago we had a pair of comfy armchairs, but our boss told us we were spending too much time at the dry cleaner. Now we just shoot some water on them and poof, done. Alexander gave these babies some nice varnish recently, so try not to shit yourselves too much. I'm sorry guys, but this is when we get serious. If you don't tell me what I want, I'm going to cut your friend's arm off. It's as simple as that. What were you looking for at our lab? He doesn't need an arm, does he? Are you deaf? What did you steal from our database? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We stole your re research about the Medusa virus. Interesting. So, you're members of Xenoleafer? You wanted to blackmail Constellar Federation? You bought access cargo, access codes on black market? Your leader is Liam Ferngau, King of Pussies. Your foes were, <laughs> were trying to understand the deadly Medusa virus, but there are still things that bug me. Who are you? Are you deaf? Fuck! Ah! Are you sure your shitty terrorist secrets are worth an arm? I'll let you rest, but you'd better start preparing for a good confession tomorrow. Cause tomorrow, I'm gonna be working on your eyes. Oh my god. Sorry, Jack. Sometimes I wonder what we're doing with our lives. Yeah, these chairs make you wonder about a lot of things. I mean, we've been with the for, for three years now, and of course we didn't join them to defend their cause, but I ended up liking it. Xenoleafer are good people, with good intentions, but that's not the only thing that matters. What do you mean? It's all about their methods. They, you may want to save the world, but great ideals come with a big question. How much blood has to be spilled in order to succeed? You look like shit. Don't you die on me, damn it! Don't worry, Abraham here won't let me die. Good. You need to support each other. Teamwork, teamwork will make this torture a lot easier to withstand. If I bit the dust, he'd have to face the violence alone. Well, any motivation is good considering the circumstances. Huh. What should I bring you tomorrow? Healing kit, please. Oh! Snap. Always with the explosions. We found Sergeant Burton. Positive ID on Corporal Jack Marslow. There's a third ide unidentified subject. What should we do? Leave him. Your top priority is to get the sergeant out of there. Understood. Moving back to ECUK headquarters. 
So, uh, Jack lost his arm, which sucks. <laughs> Favorite demand was medicine. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been part two of Gods Have Been Watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you will join me for part three. Until then, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.